Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maca here, and the biggest game of the year just hit Xbox Game Pass. That game is my friend Peppa Pig, and I'm here to take you through the game to grab all of the achievements in about 45 minutes to an hour. We'll get right into it from the main menu, press play. You'll have to select a save slot, which you can choose anyone you want. And then we'll actually have to create a character. You can be a boy or a girl. You can choose the color of your top, your glasses and your hat, and even the type of animal you are. So feel free to customize your character to suit your personality before we get started. Would you like to wear glasses? Once we do load into the game, there will be a little bit of a tutorial and I was actually surprised by how like decent this game seems like it would be for the actual audience it's made for. Now I'm not six years old, but I imagine if I was, this game wouldn't actually be all that bad. Once we do kind of gain control of our character here, there's only really two inputs we have to worry about. You can move to the left and the right with the left stick and you can interact with objects using the A button. And that's what this tutorial is gonna kind of teach you. Just walk towards the right when you can and interact with the bush and then walk towards the right to the next screen. Let's follow it. What's that? There's a fence blocking the way. Not to worry, you can use the same button to open the gate. Sometimes you will need to move things out of the way to keep going. Remember. This next tutorial is super simple. You can walk up to objects and press A to interact with them. In some cases like this gate, they will open up and allow you to walk through. And on the next screen, we will learn that we can also walk up to people and press A in order to talk to them and trigger certain conversations to happen. And then we'll kind of conclude the tutorial after this. Are you going to see Pepper? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now. Once that conversation is over, we're going to go visit the star of the game herself, Peppa Pig. Just walk to the right until you get to her house and you'll interact with her before you regain control of the character. My friend Peppa Pig. <laughs> A new friend has come to visit Peppa. How exciting. <laughs> oh, goody, you're here. Welcome. We're going to have a lovely time. You're here, you're here. We're going to have the best day ever. Once inside the house, we're actually going to try to grab an achievement right away. Use your character and go all the way to the right until you get to the living room or the family room. Here you should see Mama Pig and you'll see the TV screen. George may or may not be here, but we're gonna go and interact with the TV a couple of times. As we do this, a random event might happen. Yes, this game has RNG, unfortunately. When doing this, we're trying to get one of two things to happen. We either want Daddy to come in and need his glasses, or George to come in and need his dinosaur. After interacting with the TV, you can jump on and off the couch a couple of times to see if one of these two random events trigger. If not, you can try to leave the room and come back in, turn the TV through a couple of channels, get on and off the couch to see if one of these events trigger. If they don't, don't worry, we can do these later on in the playthrough without any issues. But in my playthrough, Daddy did need his glasses and he came in to let us know. And now we actually need to go and find those glasses and they can be in actually a couple of different places. But what I did was I just went to the left and if I didn't find them in the main entrance room, I would just go upstairs to the bedroom and they would be there. They're really hard to miss. This is a kid's game. So you'll find them somewhere in the house. There's only four rooms to go and visit. Once you find the glasses, just bring them back to daddy. If you did get the George's dinosaur random event to trigger, you'll need to go outside, interact with the tree, interact with daddy to help you get the dinosaur from the tree, and that'll complete that objective. I'll show it in more detail later on in the video when I do it. 
But after you bring back the glasses in my playthrough, we are pretty much done this kind of introductory section of the game. We can now go outside and we're going to go to grandma's house. To get to grandma's house, all we want to do is just leave through the front door. Peppa Pig will probably recommend that we go to granny and grandpa's anyways. But once we are outside, just walk to the left and keep walking until you get there. Parents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden, and granny takes care of the chicken. Once you do reach granny and grandpa pig's house, all we'll do is walk to the left and interact with the yellow car standing in front of the house. This should take us to the beach. Once we interact with the car, we'll be transported to this car section where we have to go from the left to the right to get to the beach. There is a random event where sometimes there will be construction on the road. This is perfectly okay. It'll just take you about 40 seconds longer to get to the beach because you'll have to have an extra conversation. So don't worry if that happens on your screen. I actually got really lucky on my playthrough and didn't have many of the random events that make the game take a little bit longer. Now, once we get to the beach, there is a quick achievement we can unlock just after a lot of this dialogue happens. Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach. So instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh, we wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. That's right. When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Lily, what kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools? and put what you find in the box. So we'll kind of be told by the game to go and look inside of the rock pools and find items. So just walk to the left of the screen and interact with this rock pool directly in front of us. You can find things like a coin and a shell and just interact with this same rock pool at least three different times. You'll find three different objects and this will unlock an achievement for you. Crabs love to hide in rock pools. Be careful not to get your finger pinched. Oh no, don't be a naughty crab. <gasps> a seashell! And it's a really big one! Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Really? After unlocking the achievement and going through the dialogue, we are now ready to leave the beach. Just walk to the right of the screen to get to the car and interact with the car. You'll now have to take the car back to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. And again, there is a random chance that you do have construction on the road, which will add an extra 30 or 40 seconds to this screen. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always... Now that we can, we're actually going to go and head inside of the house. Here you'll find Polly the parrot, and they'll imitate everything you do. But Polly is a little bit hungry. I know that because I've played this game three times now. So we're going to go into the second room, which is the kitchen. We're going to grab the chicken feed. We're going to go back into the first room and pour it into Polly's bowl. 
Now what we can do after the short dialogue is stand next to Polly and just jump a bit. This is basically just allowing us to trigger the next section, which is when Granny Pig walks through the door. brought a friend. Hello. Have you seen a chicken around here? Yes, Granny. She just left. Oh, my. That won't do at all. Peppa, can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. So, as we learn from the dialogue, Granny Pig wants some help riling up the chickens into the coop and there will be three chickens. One of them will run from the kitchen right through the living room, and we'll just go up to the chickens and press A to grab them. Once you do have them, just walk outside, and the chicken coop can be found all the way to the very left of the screen if we just keep walking. Once we get there with a chicken in our arms, it will be automatically deposited into the coop, and that will be that. So all three of the chickens, the first one is in the living room, the second one can be found uh, right close to the coop, so on the screen right next to it where I believe Grandpa Pig is digging a hole next to the pumpkin patch. So we can pick up that second chicken. And the third chicken is found right in front of the Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. I believe it's the white chicken. So grab that one and then bring it all the way back to the coop. Once you have all three of the chickens done, you will unlock an achievement and we'll be ready to move on to the next part of the game. Like I said earlier, once you save all three of the chickens, you'll unlock the achievement and be ready to move on. Now, unfortunately, Peppa Pig does seem to suffer from narcolepsy. So occasionally when you complete an objective, she'll fall back asleep and you'll be automatically teleported back to her house. That could be different in your game, but she actually didn't fall asleep in my playthrough, luckily. Once you do gain control of the characters, however, you do actually want to walk all the way back to her house. So just walk from the very left to the very right until you end up back there. Once you end up back at the house, you should just walk in through the door and you'll be greeted by Peppa's family who will want to take you to Windy Castle. Now there's a chance this doesn't happen in your game, but that's completely okay. Just pause the game, go to the main menu and press play. When you walk downstairs from the bedroom, they should take you to Windy Castle. Or alternatively, you can go upstairs, go to sleep, come back downstairs, and hopefully that'll trigger the Windy Castle section of the game. Now, most importantly, do not panic if things are happening slightly differently in your game. This is intended for children and you will end up at the same places as I end up as long as you keep playing. It is pretty much impossible to miss certain parts of the game and the game just kind of keeps going and going if you play it. So you can't actually like finish the story and miss something on the way. On the way to Windy Castle, there is a car section and like with all car sections, there is a random chance you will run into construction like I did in my playthrough and at the end of the construction, you'll end up at Windy Castle nonetheless, and we can work on our next achievement. There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry, Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. 
We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. You have arrived with Peppa and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> now, once you and Peppa and her family get to the top of the castle, the achievement will unlock. And here you'll want to interact with the telescope in order to see the different sights and sounds of Peppa Town. And you'll look through, you'll see like Peppa's house, the grandparents' house, the playhouse, uh, Snowy Mountain, things like that. And every time you'll be told a little story about them by like the narrator or by Peppa herself. And then you'll just press A to go to the next uh, kind of screen in the telescope. Just go through all of them until you're done at the Windy Castle. I don't think so, Peppa. We're very far away from them. Oh, today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Look, look! I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. <laughs> and there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. The playgroup. No one's there, though, because it's not playgroup time. Potato City. Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Pepper. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places. Even some that are very far away. Now there are a couple of random events that could happen. You could run into construction again. You could have Peppa Pig fall asleep, which would just make you teleport back to the house. Or if you're kind of lucky or unlucky, depending on how you look at it, like in my playthrough, you'll just end up back at her house. And here we'll have another chance to either get daddy's glasses or George's dinosaur. What we're gonna do is go into the living room, no matter what happened, even if you fell asleep, this should work. Go into the living room and interact with the TV, sit on and off the couch a couple of times, and hopefully this will trigger the other event. For me, that's George's dinosaur. Ideally, you will have found Daddy's glasses and George's dinosaur by the time we leave the house. However, if you didn't, it's okay. You can try to start a new playthrough. You can go to sleep upstairs or just quit out to the main menu and try again until they both spawn. But in my case, George is missing his dinosaur. And I explained this earlier on in the video, but I'm gonna explain it again. We are going to find his dinosaur outside stuck in the tree in front of the house. So once we do gain control of the character, go and do that. We will unfortunately be unable to reach the dinosaur as it is too high up. 
we'll have to come back into the house and talk to Daddy Pig in the kitchen to help us grab the dinosaur. Once he does that, he'll shake the dinosaur down from the tree. We'll grab it. We'll all have a good time and laugh, and that will unlock our achievement, and we are ready to move on with the later parts of the game. It seems that Mr. Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. Daddy! Daddy! George's dinosaur is stuck in the tree, and we can't get it back. Stuck in the tree? <laughs> How did it ever get there? Let's take a look. Hmm. Perhaps instead of trying to reach it, it will be easier to make him come down to us. And how are we going to do that, Daddy? Don't saw. Well, I'm a bit of an expert in these things. <laughs> as simple as that. It worked! Thank you, Daddy. I didn't know dinosaurs could climb trees. Dinosaur! <laughs> Good job. George got Mr. Dinosaur back, and everyone is having a great time. <laughs> With that out of the way, we are ready to go to the playground or the playhouse. And to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to go back to the house. Instead of going inside, we're going to interact with the red car. This will have uh, mommy and daddy bring us over to the playhouse. Again, random chance of construction. I'm very sorry. But once we get there, there will be a couple of different things we can do. have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn from the playhouse go all the way to the right this will end you up at the playground and here interact with the tree near the middle this will make you find i believe his name is tittles the tortoise or tittles the turtle and he is unfortunately stuck in the tree and because we are children in this game we need the help of an adult so once we can we are going to go to the left of the screen go into the playhouse and talk to Miss Gazelle, the teacher who is gonna help us get the turtle down. We need to get him down. Dr. Hamster will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. Whee! Whee! Madam Gazelle, Madam Gazelle! Tiddles the tortoise is stuck in the tree! Oh no, poor Tiddles! We need to do something. Hang on, Tiddles! We're going to get you down in no time! Oh, impossible. It's too high for me. Peppa, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Peppa find the ladder. Now, unfortunately, Miss Gazelle can't reach Tiddles the turtle either. She's going to need a ladder, and she's going to let Peppa Pig and myself go and get that ladder. It can be found directly in front of the playhouse. So just walk from the playground to the left. There, you should see a ladder pretty much in the middle of the screen. I don't know if this is a random location, but it hasn't been for me. Take the ladder by interacting it with it and pressing A. 
and then it'll automatically bring the ladder over and complete this section of the game. Now, unfortunately, there is a random chance again that Peppa Pig decides to fall asleep. This will teleport you back to her house. If that happens, just hop back in the car, come back to the playhouse, because we're going to take the blue school bus to the museum next. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again? Oh, Tiddles. <laughs> Good job. Now, Tiddles is safe and everyone is having a great time. So one way or another, end up back in front of the playhouse and take the blue school bus to go on a little bit of a field trip. Again, there is an unfortunate random chance of road construction, but hopefully you got as lucky as I did. At the end of the road, you'll end up at the museum and then you'll want to go inside. Once inside the museum, just walk all the way to the right until you find the rocket ship. Finding the rocket ship will unlock another achievement for us, and it will also proceed the story a little bit further. So just keep going through the dialogue until you regain control of our friend here at the end of the little rocket ship area. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off. All right, then. Does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one. The Earth. Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth. We also have Venus, Mars, Neptune. Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next Once we make it to the end of the museum, we will be shown the moon room. And you can interact with objects in the museum, obviously. That doesn't really uh, stop us from playing the game. But instead, we want to try to get to the end of the game as quickly as possible. To do that, walk all the way to the right, outside of the door, and then go down the hill. And here you'll see a hot air balloon. Now, you're not supposed to talk to strangers, but in this game, it is the optimal path. We're going to talk to the hot air balloon lady, and we're going to make our way to the forest. Now, funny enough, the hot air balloon works just like the car. It is normally like a 15 second cutscene, but if you get unlucky, there is a random chance that a bird will fly up to the hot air balloon and interact with you. I got really lucky and in this playthrough it never happened, but that'll just add an extra 20 to 30 seconds to your playthrough. So don't worry if a bird lands on your hot air balloon, you're still on the right path and you're doing a great job. Now that we've made it to the forest, there are three achievements we can pretty much do here, and we're gonna go to the right of the screen first. You'll see a butterfly and interact with it. Just ignore that and keep walking to the right. 
Here you'll find some garbage on the ground. Uh, there's going to be six pieces of garbage. There are three on the first screen and three on the second screen. And Peppa Pig will actually help you pick up this uh, rubbish, so don't worry. Just interact with things like the apple and then walk them over to the garbage and then put them in the bin. So on the first screen, once you're done all three, you'll have to open up the gate and go to the next screen and pick up the next three pieces of quote unquote rubbish. Well done. Now, the rubbish itself doesn't unlock an achievement, but it lets us get the next one by going through the gate and finding some animal footprints on the ground. And we will want to interact with them. And this will kind of just start a short little section where we can follow them to find out what animal is at the end of them. There are two different animals, I think. There's a duck and ants. At least those were the two I found on my playthroughs. And it doesn't matter which one you get. It's just, it'll change what happens on your screen, but more or less the game is exactly the same. Just keep following the animal prints until you reach the animal. This will unlock an achievement at the end. Once you find out what animal is at the end of the animal prints, your classmates will arrive on the school bus to join you in the forest and you'll set up a bit of a campground. Just wait for all the dialogue to finish now. Camping. Ah, Peppa. I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Peppa's Hello, Peppa. friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children. Now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents, and we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Pep. At the end of the dialogue, we'll have to pick up a bunch of sticks in order to start a campfire. The sticks are really, really obvious. There's going to be three usually on this first screen. So just go up to the stick and pick it up, then interact with the campfire to put it down. And don't worry, Peppa Pig will also help you. So if you're really, really bad at the game, she'll actually do it for you eventually if you're patient enough. But there are more sticks to the left, so keep going and make sure you pick up those sticks as well. Again, you can't really miss them because you can't leave the area without picking up these sticks. But once you pick up the sticks and return them to the campfire, we'll unlock another achievement. Now from the campfire, the next place we want to go is Snowy Mountain, and we can get there by taking the hot air balloon. The hot air balloon can be found to the left. However, if you are transported back to Peppa Pig's house, you'll just have to find the hot air balloon by walking left from the house. It's pretty simple. So again, once we are in the hot air balloon, there is a random chance that we are visited by a bird during our flight, which will just make the section take a little bit longer, but we'll end up at Snowy Mountain. Once at Snowy Mountain, walk to the right, and here there will be a small hill. Get up on top of that hill, and here you'll be able to interact with the chairlift. And once you do that, you'll be taken to the very top. 
at the very top of the hill, you will find a snowman. And we're going to have to actually build a snowman for our next achievement. Don't worry, building the snowman is super, super simple. wants to build a snowman you will find all the parts you need in to build the snowman start by interacting with the two large snowballs on the left of the screen start with the bigger one and then the smaller one this will form the body of the snowman and then to the right hand side you'll be able to find a carrot rocks and tree branches to make the face of the snowman interact with those three items and bring them back to the snowman every time to finish the snowman. Once you do that, the achievement will unlock. I'm not actually sure if you can leave this area without building the snowman. After building the snowman, I believe you'll be transported to this screen and here you can rent a pair of skis. So interact with the little booth here. You'll be given some skis and then you'll just have to ski down the hill from the right to the left. And at the bottom of the hill, you will find the hot air balloon once again. So we'll interact with that once we reach it. If you get too cold, Miss Rabbit will take us back in the balloon. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. So eventually, we will reach the forest using the hot air balloon. Once we land and get out, we regain control of our character, walk to the left of the screen to exit the forest, and keep walking to the left until we end up at Peppa's house. Once you go inside of Peppa's house, use the stairs and go into her room. What will usually happen is the family will then end up following you in there and letting you know that you're going to go to Potato City. This is kind of the last thing we need to happen in the game to complete our playthrough and grab a thousand gamer score. However, if this doesn't happen, don't worry. Just pause the game, go to the main menu and load up your save. 
When you load up your save, you'll spawn inside of Peppa's room and the family should come in and take you to Potato City anyways. Also, I believe this has to be the last achievement you get. So if you are missing something like George's dinosaur or daddy's glasses, try to go and do those things first and then come back to Peppa's room and hopefully your reward is Potato City. There's quite a bit of dialogue at this point. You'll also take the car to Potato City but you'll eventually get there and I'll rejoin you with commentary in a moment. You never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun, and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, oh, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City! Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes! Have you come to explore? Yes, yes! Have you come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day? Um, yes? Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun! Remember to visit the whole park! So, after about a solid two minutes of dialogue, you will eventually gain control of your character here at Potato City, and congratulations, this should unlock your last achievement. At the moment of recording, it's actually rare, which was very surprising, but that should be your 1000 gamer score. Congratulations, you are now a Peppa Pig completionist. I would really appreciate if you drop a like on the video if you found it helpful. Consider sharing the video with a friend. A special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you soon. Peace!